Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. For those that are new around here, my name is Evie and I am a mum to a nine month old little girl called Matilda. She features in some of my videos when they're about her, but I also do videos that are all about beauty, fashion, tips and tricks, in which she normally doesn't feature in unless she wakes up and needs me. If you're not already subscribed, then I'd really appreciate if you hit the subscribe button so you're signed up to watch my future videos. I also have an Instagram page which I shall insert the handle for here and then I also do a weekly vlog on a Friday morning um, but I just talk about anything really so recently I've done about my pregnancy tips and stuff that I would recommend during pregnancy and just things like that really I've done a letter to my baby as I return to work so if that's something to be interested in then I shall leave the link down below but yeah I'd love for you to go and join our little family pages and just come along with us on the journey really. So today's video is a what's in my changing bag. I see lots of these videos on YouTube and I find it's really interesting to see what other people put in their changing bags and what changing bags people use. I have recently just purchased a new one but it's not yet arrived so I'm just using the one that I've used since day one. Um, I love this changing bag but now that Matilda's just getting older I'm just finding it too big and I don't know I find it quite unorganized in there even though there is like a million pockets I still find it really hard to organize everything. Today's video is a collaboration with the lovely Amy from over at The Mummy Journey. I will link her video down below but she's going to do exactly the same and just talk us through what is in her changing bag. Make sure you head over and watch her video and subscribe once you've watched mine and make sure you say that I sent you. Hi everyone, I'm Amy, I'm 25 and I run my own YouTube channel called Mummy Journey. Um, I live in Worcester with my boyfriend Sean and we have a seven month old daughter called Eva. I do the same sorts of videos as Evie, uh, motherhood, lifestyle, beauty, organisation, day in the life vlogs. Um, yeah, just your normal mummy YouTube stuff. So I'd love to have you over on my channel. So after you've watched Evie's video, please come across and watch mine and definitely hit that subscribe button. See you over there. So the changing bag I've been using is this baby bow one. I'm not sure if you can see it. Um, it's just like black with the tan. Um, yeah, it served me really well. It's got like an inline in which is like striped. Um, and that's got all pockets in and that also does pop out so you can just have it as like one whole big bag. It's quite a big size. The long handle meant I could put it over my pram and then obviously I could just carry it using the two bigger handles. It is a lovely bag really but I don't know, I just find it was getting too big and too bulky. Now that she's just mainly on solids and it's like so much easier to take out. Okay, so the first thing I've got in my bag, and I'm sure every other parent will have in their bag, are nappies. I'm not brand bothered on my nappies. I've got some from Aldi, and I have some Pampers ones. I don't know, I think a nappy's a nappy. Matilda's never really suffered from, like, a nappy irritating her or anything like that. So, yeah, I just sort of pick up nappies whenever I can, really. Um... So say I'm doing like an Asda order online, I'll pick up some Pampers, or say I'm going past an Aldi, I will just pop it in because they are cheaper and I just bulk buy on the Aldi ones. But it depends on where I'm going, I'll normally just take about four nappies, I think that's normally enough. I'm never really going that far, obviously if it's overnight we will take a lot more, but I will normally just take then a big pack and put it in the back of the boot. Just then I know I've got enough and I'm not going to run out at any time during the stay. Okay, so let's go with the nappies. I've then got these Tesco Loves Baby nappy sacks. We have had these since day one. Don't always use a nappy sack. Normally I'll just put it into the bin. But yeah, I always take these with us because you never know when you're going to have an extremely dirty sleep suit that needs to be put into a bag or a nappy that has exploded everywhere. And you do just want to bag it up just to like save the mother's or dad's noses really <laughs> like these ones um odor neutralizing so it means if there is any smell it just neutralizes the odor i think these are really cheap as well so i just always keep these in my bag because you never know when you're going to need another bag a bag in a bag i know 
always take sort of just a spare a vest and sleep suit i don't bother putting in an outfit because i just think if she has made a mess it's just so much easier to strip everything off and then just to put her in a clean sleep suit and vest i just roll mine up like this and then secure like a hair bubble around them i find that that works really easy and i know that i can just literally grab it out of the bag like that and i know that everything that i'm going to need is there i don't need to worry about like socks or leggings or like if it's cold if it's a long sleeve i know that if she's a vest i can just put her in a vest um if it's cold i can just put her in a vest and a sleep suit and if it's warm i can just pop her in the vest and i know i'm not going to need anything else so, like i just find that it's really easy okay then i've got wipes and the ones in my changing bag at the minute are water wipes Again, I'm not really like brand loyal to wipes, but I would say the ones that I'm loving recently are water wipes and then also the Dove baby wipes. I just find them both to always be really moist and I just find it really easy to clean up any mess with these. So if you're struggling to find wipes, I would definitely recommend water wipes or the Dove loves baby wipes. They're both amazing. Then also got like just this little Packamac jacket in the changing bag, which is like Peppa Pig style, and I picked this up from Next. So obviously it just falls into a little pocket, and it falls out to be a little jacket, like so. I just find having this in that is just really easy. It's like if we are out and it does start raining, then I can just pop her into this and I know she's going to stay nice and dry. Obviously she loves it because it's Peppa Pig. She's not really like into anything like that yet, but obviously if she sees Peppa Pig or I wear my Peppa Pig pajamas, she'll be trying to grab it and laughing her little socks off at it. So obviously when she's wearing this, not only does it keep her dry and warm, it obviously keeps her occupied. And then it's just really simple, you just literally pop it all back into the pocket, like so. I know I'm not making this look very easy, but it does just all roll up and folds in to that Velcro, like so. And then again, just keep that in my bag. I have like various toys that I take out with me but the one that's in there at the minute is this Dear Zoo um, by Rod Campbell and it's just like the pram one. I find this easy because she chews on that as well to help with her teeth um, and obviously it's just got the little story of Dear Zoo which I just absolutely lovely and she loves looking at all the different animals. She's quite an animal obsessed baby. I don't know if that's the same with any babies, but she absolutely loves anything to do with animals, especially monkeys. I've then sort of got like the feeding sort of section. So I will always have just like a plain white muslin cloth in there. Sometimes I'll have like patterned ones. But I just think if it's white, it's gonna go with anything that she's wearing really. I'll always make sure I have a good sized big bib. This one was actually from France. And it just says, Je suis le petit soleil. So it's, I am a little sunshine. I just think that's really cute. And obviously that is from France. So I don't think we'll be able to get it over here. And then just like foodie bits really. So I always take some of these rice wafers out with us. If you've not tried these yet for your baby, try them. They are absolutely amazing. They literally just melt. So there's no chance of them choking or not being able to chew it properly because it does teach them to do chewing and it does teach them to pick things up for themselves. Um, but there's, they're no mess. They come in banana, blueberry, and they also do strawberry ones. And I think they're just amazing, really. So they're gluten-free, dairy-free, and they encourage self-feeding. I would really give these a try out, guys. I absolutely love them. I don't know what the make is. Oh, the make is Kiddylicious, if anyone's interested. And then I will always have a few pouches. This is just a fruit one. And I know it says it's a fruit smoothie. But I can literally just open this and squeeze it onto a spoon. And feed it to Matilda. She loves these Ella's Kitchen fruit pouches. Um, I'll only have more than one in there to be honest. Just because they're really good for like snacks or like little puddings afterwards. 
going to say, now that Matilda's getting older, obviously when we're going out, obviously we always do stuff off for lunch or dinner, whatever it is. Um, so I normally just try and pick her bits up that are the same as us as well. So I'll try, maybe try and do her like a little cheese toasty and let her have like a nibble on that. Or if I'm having like a piece of cake, yeah, I will cut off a slice, a small finger of the cake and let her have a go with it because that's just how they learn really, obviously. Um... They're using new skills, so obviously they're going to be building up their skills. So obviously it's helping them learn, if that all makes sense. So yeah, I do just try and give her what we give, what we have as like food. But obviously I will always keep out baby stuff. And I will also normally have in there like an Alice Kitchen safety pouch. Um, obviously she's getting to that bigger stage now. She's getting to like the 10 months. So I know that they do like the bigger pouches, which just means the food is thicker and... Like, just think I would just chew in a bit more. Okay, so then in my changing bag was like this little wallet that is attached. So I always have this with me. This is really handy. It just unclips by a little clip there. And this will just have like any other little bits that I might need. So it's got a spare dummy in there. Um, it's got like nappy cream. It's got little baby scissors and a nail file. It's got the panther, which is obviously more nappy cream. Um, and then I will also take out one of the SMA follow on to ready made milks Matilda doesn't really drink a lot of milk anymore she's always been quite a sicky baby she's always struggled from her reflux so how is it advised to us to just mix her milk in with food so obviously I just do that instead so she'll normally have like rice pudding as sort of like a, a pudding or as a snack and I'll make that with baby rice and her milk um and then just for like breakfasts and at night time she just has it mixed in with like porridge or a weetabix that she really enjoys just so i know that she's still getting the nutrition from the milk but it's not going to be causing her to be upset and it just got to the point where she was refusing the bottle anyway i'd try different teats i'd try different bottles i would literally try anything and she wouldn't take it so that was our next way forward Obviously in there I will also have like a bottle if I need to mix any milk to add to foods and I will also take out my Tommy TP flask so that's really handy for heating up pouches or for heating up a bottle and then I'll just do all that on the morning so obviously that's not in there now because we're not going anywhere but that is always in there as well. And then I think that's pretty much everything that goes into my changing bag. So that's it for today's video guys. I hope you enjoyed seeing what's inside my changing bag. If you've done any what's inside my changing bag videos, make sure you comment down below and I'll be sure to head over and watch them. I'm always looking for new ideas and what I can put in there. Or ways to cut down on what I take out. So if you're not already subscribed, make sure you do so. And I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Thanks for watching guys. Bye.